February 24, 2022, will be yet another defining day and year in the annals of world history. The dreams, hopes, aspirations of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness of a free, democratic, sovereign nation were violated overnight by a ruthless autocratic dictator who envisioned a resurgence of the former Russian Empire. I am certain this concert will be remembered by all and will unite us in our rally cry, We Stand with Ukraine. Proceeds from the benefit concert will go towards humanitarian aid for Ukraine, including medical supplies and equipment in partnership with the Ukrainian Medical Association of North America Foundation, and in a measure will also support the education of children fleeing from war torn Ukraine and enrolling in our very own St. Nicholas Cathedral School. Thank you very much. It's good to be with you. After that rousing and stirring national anthem of Ukraine, no one should doubt that Ukraine is an independent and sovereign nation with its, its own tradition, with its own life. And we hope that it will continue to be recognized as such as we support Ukraine in this moment. This uh, wonderful scarf uh, which proclaims uh, uh, glory to Ukraine and glory to our heroes was given to me. I wore it that week when I went on an airplane at the airport and as I was getting on the airplane, the lady taking the ticket said to me, seeing the, the blue and the gold, she said, oh, did you just graduate? <laughs> I said yes, <laughs> but today everybody knows what this means after weeks of seeing these wonderful colors around our nation, around our city as well. Today we need to keep in mind that our defense of freedom and democracy and the sovereignty of a nation is not just about this moment, but what we're teaching our young children about what their future should be like. And that is why tonight is so important. God bless you all. Thank you all for being here tonight to support both the Ukrainian Medical Association of North America, who's been doing an incredible amount of work to make sure that necessary medical supplies reach those in need within Ukraine, and the St. Nicholas Cathedral School, which has also been helping to welcome newly arrived Ukrainians and their families. I stand before you tonight with a heart full of emotion. I am in awe of the daily courage of the Ukrainian people that we see played out in every media platform that we can think of. But I'm also heartbroken that the people of Ukraine, freedom-loving people, are forced to defend their way of life simply because they seek to be independent and determine their own destiny. This is a time for us to make sure that we do everything that we can to make sure that we are raising up to the world the daily struggle of our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. We need to carry that with us, carry us forward every single day until this aggression is stopped and the Ukrainian people are victorious. We must do our part to stand with Ukraine every single day. God bless us all. It's not easy time for us, but God with us. Let's go to pray together, our Father. Our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us.
reformers. When the CAVE committee was first approached by Mr. Freeman Dawson, who unfortunately had to leave, uh, with an idea to perform a benefit concert by donating the services of the musicians of the Chicago Lyric Opera Orchestra, we immediately jumped into action. Of course, what a superb idea. Our hope is that we can make a real difference in the lives of refugee children. St. Nicholas Cathedral School has been our sister city school since 2012. Comfort to each child with warmth and love during this harrowing period in their young lives. The Cave Committee would like to make an additional donation this evening of $5,000 towards the needs of these newly arrived students. Thank you. 